Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a princess shift, so come along with me on another vlog in the men's prison. Didn't know, didn't know, didn't know what you wanted But you don't even trust yourself We were so, we were so, we were so high up in love But not enough to bring us back from where we fell Welcome back to another day in the life of a correctional nurse. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below or my other forms of social media and I'll definitely get to answer them because in my next video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A for all the questions I've been getting over the last couple weeks about what I do as a correctional nurse, any of my experiences, stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoy my shift. Make sure you subscribe so you can come along with me on all of my other ones as well. Before starting this video, I just want to thank you guys so much. I woke up this morning, I realized I hit 2K subscribers, and then on my Instagram, I was at 7,200. And then I realized throughout the day, I was still growing. So thank you guys again so much, and I'm glad you're enjoying these vlogs. As I said in my intro, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below or on my other forms of social media, because I love the engagement with you guys. I have pinned on my TikTok as well as discussed this on my other vlogs on how we're allowed to have phones here. Long story short is we just can. I'm actually doing a princess shift, so it's going to be a little quick one, but I thought I'd bring you guys along because I'm going to be doing clinic today. Princess shift is really when you only work four hours, so I'm working 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. Basically, I'm just going to be getting ready for morning med pass and then do diabetic care. And then I'm done. Getting all the medications ready takes typically about two and a half hours. I just show you really, really quick tidbits of everything, but it does actually take a really long time. Typically we don't carry inmate specific medications, we just get a big stock of them and then whatever inmate needs those medications, we just give them them. Kind of like how hospitals have Pixis's. We are very old fashioned, we're trying to get a Pixis, but so far we do not have one. The reason why it takes so long is because you have to have every vendor approved, then you have to have the employees of the vendors approved to be able to come into facility as well. Medication cups hold 30 milliliters. Now I'm just giving some amlodipine and now getting ready for my diabetic care. Guys, as I always say, make sure you check your insulins because most of the inmates here use regular. However, some of them do use Aspart. And then for the long acting, some use Lantus and then the others use Levamir. So just make sure you're always double checking. As I always preach, make sure you hold your hand one to two inches above the needle box hole so you don't get a needle stick. I check my orders probably at least about seven times before I even draw up the medication. Cause here we don't have people double checking your insulins when we give it like you're taught in nursing school. This is me realizing we have no gloves in this clinic room at all. And here we have to drop the insulin in the vial before we can even bring it onto the unit. That's fine, the quick solution just radio somebody to come bring me some gloves. This is Love Amir. It's a long acting. I'm saying this like I'm introducing a person. Anyways, um, so they get the same units every single day at the same time. Since we don't have an extra nurse checking our medications, you guys can check it for me. Yeah, yeah, we're taught we're not supposed to recap. However, I have to recap while I walk on the unit. You get mad when I ask what you're doing. Got me up all night, just feeling stupid. For wondering where you are. And why we played it 
enjoying this video make sure you're giving a thumbs up if you're new here make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can get notified on all the upcoming fun i noticed my co-worker left the sharps out and you know they always had to be locked up Now I'm just grabbing some stuff to stock the clinic, especially grabbing some boxes of gloves. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Make sure you guys subscribe. Can't wait to see you guys on my next shift. Now it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs>